Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting. Uh, today we're using artisan oils again, water mixable oil colour, and we're going to do a mountain scene today. So I'm uh, just putting some colour out on the palette. I haven't um, done it yet. <laughs> I was just uh, looking at the picture that I'm going to do, I've uh, used a website and uh, with, which has free images, uh, royalty free images on it. Um, I'll put a link in the description which one it is. And I'm just going to mix up an orange. Probably put too much red out. <laughs> Don't need that much. I like to be frugal with my paint. I'm going to look at this one. It's a bit bright. I might dull it down a little bit with a bit of burnt umber. Just a teeny bit. Burnt umber is quite good for dulling the colour a little bit. It's not too bad actually. Okay, so that was just um, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, pale hue, and uh, burnt umber to make that colour. Other colours I'm going to need. I'm going to need some ivory black. Probably need more than that, but we'll just pull that bit out now. And we'll need some white for the uh, snow on the mountains. So I'll put some white there. Okay, so I'll leave that brush lying there. And I'll grab another brush. And I want to create a. Well, we're just going to do like a grey, so <laughs> we don't need to mess around mixing that. It's quite easy. Okay. Let's uh, just put that down. And it's going to get a little bit of water on this little brush. Tiny bit of white, bit of black, just to make it grey colour. And uh, first things first, let's have a look at our canvas. We've got a black canvas, um, uh, which I used the Bob Ross Black Gesso. I like and here we go that's um, we're just gonna kind of draw in some mountain shapes see when you um, use reference you don't have to do exactly like the picture that you've got you can change things up unless uh, it's for a commission of course and then you do have to do it exactly how it is <laughs> Cause it's just the way it is <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> but when you're creative and you're doing your own work you can do it a bit more looser so it's on the And then, I'm back to the 
from my own white light. Like this. And then it can sort of break away. Kind of there. Looking up behind this mountain, maybe it sort of comes away there as well. Peak over here, maybe. And then behind that one, maybe there's another one. Yeah, so that gives us like a basic layout of what we want to do. Now I'm going to uh, get my colour, my orangey colour, it's a little bit too bright still. Let's see what it looks like on the canvas. And that's closer. Obviously, we're being creative, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I was saying, do what you want to do. Light up the sky with orange. And you can make a decision way you want the orange to be. Like I say, you don't have to go by the image, you can make it up. Maybe you've done a sketch of how you want it to look. You can use that. I'm just looking, looking at shapes, creating shapes in the sky. Where I want the orange. Going to turn it a bit more brown. duller than the uh, original orange, which is all I wanted. It's a bit duller. Start with that, and now uh, I'm going to use a bigger brush. Some uh, ivory black and white, ivory black and white, and more black, a darker. Throw a bit of red in it. I'm 
not too worried about blending with these colors. I want them to uh, blend a little bit. Sort of thinking about cloud masses. Red and black there. A nice dark in there. Red and black. Red and black. And then. Just putting a bit of a dark area here. to make sure you can see this okay. I'm just using little strokes to put in this dark. some light areas going back with dark as well any area I feel like it's got a bit too bright I can come back and go dark Some more of this down here. Oops. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of red. I just want to red that area up a bit. In places. Okay, let's get some more of this dark. Let's start over here. Some dark color. I need some more dark on my palette. This is a nice, nice fiery painting. This one, nice mountain. 
Haven't done a mountain in a bit. Just sort of putting in a few layers there. things up a little bit. Sometimes when I'm painting I'm thinking I want to do something a bit more directional. Like that it felt like it needed directional strokes and I'll just do it. <laughs> no. I found like before when I used to paint. I wouldn't do it. I would uh, kind of mi would miss opportunities to do stuff. together a little bit. Yeah, I would I would miss opportunities like that, like those lines that I created there. I'm just gonna get some more dark, some more of the black. Gonna need some for the mountain as well. <laughs> Sorry about the firework sounds. <laughs> it is fireworks out there. And uh, I decided I'd do a painting. <laughs> and I didn't really think about the fireworks. Never mind. Quite a fiery sky, so it goes quite well, doesn't it? <laughs> using the old and directing it all this way Okay, then I sort of sit back, think about what I want, what do I want, what do I feel it's missing. I think it needs something to break the sky up here. Okay. Sort of sit back, have a look, turn my light off, 
<laughs> which is what I do a lot now because the light um, shines up a little bit too much on the paint and uh, it can put you off a little bit <laughs> probably um, because the light isn't in the perfect place really probably a better position where it is now kind of start using brush strokes to create the, uh, the movement in the sky Now I've got my soft brush, soft brush. I'm just going to go over this just to soften it up. The sky to be nice and soft. Nice and smooth. Okay. I think um, I could do with a bit of white in this orangey mixture. I could do with. some light do have this kind of light this orangey light here and there Spin a little bit there. And soften it. Just creating interest in the sky. Spin that. Now I'm spinning my soft brush. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I like that better. It's got a bit more movement. Um, so yeah, well, accept that. <laughs> now I need to um, my little soft brush away and have a look at what I would like. Uh, maybe some holes. Got a little bit of white on this. I was finding it was a little bit um, too transparent in colour. 
and the uh, black was showing through a little bit too much for my liking and white is opaque so help a little bit in the covering and what I prefer soft brush in the water <laughs> but I needed that one I wanted to go over it again so I'm gonna uh, give it a quick dry on a piece of paper paper towel and dry again. Yeah, that just softens those a bit. Okay. Soft brush can be moved aside and now we'll start on the mountain. Now then, we need a light version of the sky. We need a white mixed with the Oh, and red, basically. And dulled down with a bit of the brown. Right before. Might put a little bit of black in it. Yeah, I quite like that. That's close. Yeah. One likes this colour. Okay, so... We've got to make a decision. Do we do lights first or the darks first? I uh, sometimes do the lights first and then... Sometimes the darks. <laughs> I haven't made my mind up on which I prefer. I think I need two shades of this. I think I'll do a darkish one first, like this. And then I'll use a light one afterwards. Lighter, I should say. So, apologies for the fireworks. Here we go. Mountain. Just there. So this, this um, way of doing a mountain is different to some of the other ways, like using a knife or using the thick paint, uh, like I did with the Bob Ross materials. This is um, simply using a brush and blocking in colour. Um, I need to go even darker actually. There's more shades than I thought. You see, it has actually got a bit of a blue tint on this side, but I'm gonna. Hmm, how am I gonna put it on? I'm not sure. I want, I want to keep things warm, actually, but. Never say never. Okay, and then uh, get another rough, another brush going. Let's get some more of this darkish colour. I quite quite liking this dark colour. It's working quite well. Uh, Let 
my mountain on the picture ends um, sort of here. It goes into darkness there. So I'll make a decision whether mine will or not. I'm not 100% for sure as yet. And we got on this other mountain. There's like a a dip. Kind of goes like that. Make a bit more color. Change this quite a lot actually <laughs> already to what the image is like. I'm doing it a bigger scale for starters. See how that little bit of brightness there just went ping. Okay, like that and then. quite thin paint in some areas because I do like the darkness that's showing through. So let's get a bit of light now. I think the light is coming in this way and it's quite low and it's hitting areas. Actually, uh, a dark area there. a bit there. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I've been speaking for ages. 
I've just been painting, I just sort of, um, concentrate and I forget uh, that the cameras are on and just enjoy myself getting lost in the painting. Suddenly I'm like, oh, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm painting. <laughs> Get some dark red in it. I'm gonna stop putting in the dark parts of the mountain. I think I said it in another episode, when I do paintings I, I'm always uh, thinking, oh dear, <laughs> what have I done, I've messed it up again, <laughs> that always crosses my mind uh, in, when I paint and uh, it's, uh, it's kind of weird. And sometimes things work out and you do a painting that you're happy with and sometimes it doesn't and you're not happy with it. <laughs> but as long as you're learning and working out what went wrong, what not to do and it doesn't matter. I remember when I first started painting in my head everything should be a good painting. Every painting that I do in my head it was it's gotta be good. And if it's not good, it's classed as a failure. <laughs> and you can't think like that at all. Every painting you do you have to think of positively every painting you do you've learnt something new and I think that's important because if you're looking at painting in a, a negative way like putting pressure on yourself and saying oh that's a mess I can't believe I painted that, that's it I quit <laughs> that's no good is it it's okay um, telling yourself, well, okay, that didn't work, what can I do to improve um, my painting for the next one? There's nothing wrong with that, because that's being productive, that's, that's positive, isn't it? You've always got to think positively, otherwise the negative side takes over and you won't paint or you won't do it you won't learn there's been times when I've given up when I when I was first starting and and I'd not paint for a while like months sometimes longer and uh, I'd be like well if I can't get any good yet then what's the point <laughs> If I can't get good by picking up a brush and painting instantly, then what's the point? <laughs> Which is ridiculous. You know. it, like anything else, you've got to practice and stick at it. Just putting in some dark areas with the uh, with this one, trying to build up the mountain. You know, adding more detail into it with this these two brushes. I mean, they're not particularly small brushes, but they're not big either. Well, what was I trying to say? They're not tiny little brushes. I'm not um, going to try and get lots of detail in this, um, but I am going to do a bit of detail. You see, I'm going in between brushes now. The 
build this build there. And uh, so they, they'll stand out, so they'll work quite well there. <laughs> should indicate there's a bit of a top there. Not sure if it's um, seeable. Let's put in a little light there. There. Hope you can see that. Just to indicate a little top to the mountain bit there. Oh, that's bright. This is uh, this is my painting. I don't want to be bright. <laughs> We've been on a, a dark painting uh, mode for a while for some reason. <laughs> mm, it was fun though. Fun painting Darth Vader and Frankenstein. <laughs> I did enjoy it very much. Let's get some black in here. Yeah, so back to what I was saying about how I used to pressure on myself to uh, do paintings uh, in the mind of every painting has to be good and if it isn't it's a waste of time um, that's not the way to think every painting is not going to be good it just can't be uh, unless you're a natural you know maybe you are but for me you know I'm not I've got to uh, work at it, I've got to improve all the time and train myself to do drawings and do paintings and and always trying to develop myself. Can I get a bit more red in this? A bit more red. I want to Add a little more in here. Taking that down a little bit. It's gone a bit further than the picture. Okay, here we go. Just using little bits here. I'll do. Just wanted to get a little bit of a... Sometimes just touching the brush a little bit you can create something. So I've got quite a lot going on there. Um, this darkness here bothers me a little bit so... I need to separate it. Get some dark on there. I need some more darkness. More darkness. <laughs> Coming to the end of this tube. Sorry, right, now I've got another one. Okay. Might go with that other brush actually. Um, let's just let's, uh, of water. Yeah, it's going to take me forever. Let's use a bigger brush. Just 
sitting back. We're gonna look, look at the mountain. See if it looks all right. So, recently I did buy some small brushes for uh, miniatures. I'll show you them. Let me show you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Italeri brushes and um, they're actually for painting little figures but they're, they're nice little brushes uh, I got them off eBay from uh, oh, what was his name now I think his name was Mr. Model or Mis Mr. Miniature or something like that he was selling them <laughs> don't think he's miniature himself <laughs> I think he just sells miniatures oh, you never know okay that's, uh, that's quite dark there and then behind it I want to go a shade lighter. orange again hmm. it's quite good dull the colour a bit let's get this mountain in then it's actually working quite well blending in with that because uh, it does look like that on the picture. <laughs> and I can get some black and can do the same with that. Sort of 
it goes off anyway. I actually want Well, that looks pretty good. It's uh, not exactly right that way around. Wants to be. Wants to be darker at the top. Not the lighter at the bottom. Create some detail. There we go, I think that's a detail for that background hill. <laughs> it's so easy to get over the go over the top. Now unfortunately both my brushes are now dark. So Get a paper towel and just wipe it. Wipe the uh, the dark off and I can go back into this light. Okay. Now I want to create this uh, these areas in here. Almost like veins or something. <laughs> I'm gonna use this softener. some light getting through. Looking, looking for areas that are picking up a bit of light, and then I'm gonna come back and break areas up. And I'm gonna build an area up here. Just making things up a bit here. And then I might plonk a little bit of uh, light on it like that. And then maybe this 
goes up there. Maybe there's a, a bit of light there. Up the side of that. And there's a little area over there. It's getting a bit of light. And sort of build it up again. Yeah. <laughs> Hope this is looking all right on camera. I can't really tell. Alright, make a decision. Do I need I do need to be breaking up a tell. So, we're looking at the foreground, do I, do I just darken this corner? And it here. I just feel there could be something else here. So let's, uh, let's create something. Let's uh, imagine. There's a bit of light. Someone's got to have got here to take the picture, haven't they? So let's have him. Okay, how does that look? Yeah. 
Yeah. Need to do dark. Oh, there. And I can put a little bit of light. Very, very, uh, loosely green. Rock area. Put a bit of red on it. Now what you can do, if you uh, so wish, you can go with a little brush like this, spin your bristles, and you can go in and really put in little detail. marks in which is uh, it's good fun to do as well isn't it that detail idea what you could do and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one something a little bit different another way to create some uh, nice land would look good with a dragon in it or something <laughs> And uh, you can even go in with detail in the in the sky with your little brush as well. Okay. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this one. I hope it helps you out. 
and I'll uh, see you in another one. Cheers, bye.